This video is about Sensorod Build DC motor controller. Hello everybody! This is the first motion lab channel. And here you can get information about all our projects. We are working and you are watching. Let's have a start. If you have electro scooter or if you have electro bike, maybe you have electro bot or you like use milling machine, turning machine or drill press, this video is can be interesting for you. Please subscribe to be kept posted. Okay, here is our build DC controller. It based on Atmega chip 3 to 8. It has essential components 3 TTL logic. Here is 3 dr MOSFET drivers, 6 MOSFET transistors, connector to connect 3 phases of BLDC motors and power supply from 40 up to 60 volts potentiometer to adjust rotation and speed, connector for hull sensors, connector for 5 volts power supply of them. Here is the connector for mine switch. Here is pulse DC DC converter to get 15 volts from 40 or 60 volts and uh, this connector for additional loads it's not final edition of the controller it has no total component installed but uh, we're gonna try to see how does it work let me remind you how does the BLDC motor works inside the motor we have three hull sensors to detect uh, rotor position. Depends on it, controller energized uh, two coils of motor to move rotor and then rotor position changed uh, how sensor detected and uh, controller can energize another coils. Controller switching coils and the motor getting rotation. Okay, let's try to switch on our controller. First of all, we connect power supply wires. And now let's switch it on. And now yellow light is indicate that low volt side is energized and we have the time after that uh, we can see the high voltage side is energized too. Checking essential volts power supply and we can see that it's little more than 40 volts. Let's connect one probe of oscilloscope to see how does one phaser works. Now Atmega chip has test firmware and we can see how does phaser work without hull sensor signals. Using this oscilloscope connection we can see just how does high side work. 
Little later we will connect oscilloscope probe to neutral point and uh, we will be able to see how to up and low side walk. Now let's have a check how does free phases work. And now you can see three phases 60 degrees shifted. How you can see PMW signal has no high frequency, it looks better. White type connection is allowed to see how up and low side of the controller work. Let's connect the indicator and we can see how is it working in the real time. Thanks for your attention, in the next video we will see how do hull sensors work, how this controller can run electro scooter wheel and we will connect car alternator to this controller to use it as an electromotor.